Greetings, citizens! My name is Failure to Report, and today I will be your guide to the gray market. Activate your system. Wonderful. Okay, okay. System activated. <laughs> Welcome to Big Market! Now, in the last year, we've seen the channel kind of explode in terms of size, but also views. That means there are a lot of new faces coming through the FTR community that in all likelihood probably weren't around the last time I had videos up detailing LTI tokens and the use of the gray market. And after having somebody request it the other day, I figured now is the perfect time to talk about how to use LTI tokens and the gray market to your advantage with the upcoming anniversary sales and anything offered during the holiday sale. So then, citizen, let's help you win the only Star Citizen game that matters, the JPEG collecting game. All right, first of all, I want to talk about LTI tokens. What is an LTI token? Lifetime insurance tokens are what we call ships or vehicles that come with lifetime insurance but cost a small amount of money and have flexible cross-chassis upgrade options. Well, at least in comparison to most ship prices, they're cheap. Now, the reason that we use LTI tokens is because they can be used to get lifetime insurance on any of your ships, because base package attributes are inherited by any upgrades you do to them. So, let's say we take our lifetime insurance Nox, and we want to CCU this ship to a Banu Merchantman. We now have a Banu Merchantman with lifetime insurance, even though the Banu Merchantman is no longer offered with lifetime insurance. Let's say maybe you're brand new to Star Citizen and you want an Aegis Saber, so you have that ultimate dogfighter. But if you buy it through RSI when it comes available, it won't have lifetime insurance. But hey, boom, Nox to Saber CCU and you're rolling with an LTI Saber. But failure, I don't own a Nox with LTI. No problem, buddy. The Nox was an example because of how many are available through the gray market with LTI on them. You can either purchase one of these from another player through the gray market, or you can wait until the next time CIG offers up a cheap LTI concept ship. One that came around recently was the Origin 100 series. While these were a little bit more expensive than what we normally want with an LTI token, the price was still low enough that you could get CCU options to just about any other ship. My point being, if you don't want to get an LTI token from the gray market, just sit on your wallet and wait it out for the next time CIG offers a new concept chip that has a cheap price and will have that new concept LTI. But failure! I have a Nox, but how am I supposed to get it to a Saber? That chip's limited! Alright, so here's where things get interesting and I kind of start preaching my you are a customer. It's your duty to look out for you. If you want to CCU to a limited ship that's normally not available, you can either wait for large Star Citizen sales such as the Anniversary Sale, where CIG finally decides, okay, you're allowed to buy ships like the Saber, Freelancer Miss, the Hull Series, Buccaneer, etc. During these sales, CCU options that are not normally possible will become available. If you're absolutely in love with Cloud Imperium or Chris Roberts, this is the method for you to buy the ship you want while giving the money to CIG. If you value the dollar you work for, however, this is where I start to suggest the gray market heavily. So let me explain why. Let's say that you want to buy that new 3.3 flyable Aegis Hammerhead. You scoot on down to the RSI store page and holy shit, this thing costs 625 war bond or 725 with credit? Oh, hey, even at that price, it still only comes with six-month insurance. I mean, hey, it isn't like you're back in an alpha that might never get made or anything. In case you can't tell, I think every backer should have LTI on every ship until this game is no longer an alpha. But anyhow. So, now that we've seen that we can uh, get robbed by spending 625 fresh cash for six-month insurance hammerhead... Let's go ahead and compare that to our options on the gray market, shall we? Holy mother of God, is that a hammerhead with lifetime insurance? And for only $565? What the hell have I been doing with my life? Hmm, alright. Well, let's say we dive down this rabbit hole just a little bit deeper, shall we? 
Let's say you really fancy yourself as a space trucking trader type, yeah? What better ship to fit your needs than the Banu Merchantman? But wait! CIG has been increasing the price and dropping the insurance time. So if you wanted to buy a standalone Merchantman from CIG last year, it would have cost you $350 and it didn't come with lifetime insurance. So let's assume that they don't raise the prices again this year because uh, CIG does that a lot. Then you would be looking at $350 for a non-lifetime insurance Banu Merchantman. All right, well... Let's take a look at our magic gray market price o shall we? Oh, wow. $250 for lifetime insurance? Amazeballs! I hope that at this point I've kind of demonstrated that if you value your own dollar more than the principle of throwing money at CIG just because, then the gray market is the best bang for your buck. But how do I use it, failure? All right, let's get into that now. While it's called the gray market, this site is actually a sub-community of reddit.com. If you don't have a reddit account, you will need to make one in order to use this site. Doing so is free and it's fairly simple. And once you have an account made and you've navigated to the gray market, uh, the link should be on the video as I'm talking about this, you'll notice on the right side of the page called the sidebar, it has a ton of crap on it, right? The first thing we want to click on is the get RSI confirmed link. This link will take us through the process of associating our Reddit account with our RSI account so other players know who we are. After our Reddit account has been linked to our RSI account bio, we simply message the trade subreddit bot by going to the step 2 of the get confirmed page. This step is simply a matter of waiting for the bot to message you after you send in your template and it should let you know that your flare has been set for the sub and once that's done, you're all good to go on using the trade subreddit. But stop! Before you start diving into the wonderful world that is the gray market, please do both yourself and the trade sub community a favor and read the stay safe page link. Most of this information is common sense internet purchasing advice, but read it anyways. In over two years of using the gray market, I have never had a single issue on this site. I only trade with people who are verified on the subreddit, have a verified PayPal account, and never, ever send or accept payments as gifts through PayPal. Always use invoices. Whether you're buying or selling, use an invoice. If you use send gift to friend, you are not protected by PayPal in any way, shape, or form. Anybody who asks you to use this payment method on Star Citizen or anywhere else is opening you up to being scammed. And since you're going to be a good listener and use the invoice option and not the gift option, also make sure that the invoice is accurately filled out. What you're purchasing should be in that invoice or what you're selling. It should say how many of what you're buying or selling. This example that you see here is a bare minimum of what I would consider filling out an invoice on the gray market. You can also link the actual page where the listing was at in the invoice and go into more description on the invoice. Again, this is the bare minimum of what an invoice example should look like. One other thing I would strongly suggest to new gray market traders is that you only deal with people who have a solid number of previous transactions. You can tell someone's verified trade history by looking at their user flare that's next to their name. This flare includes both their RSI handle and the amount of verified trades that they have completed on the subreddit. If you're uneasy about finding and buying or selling from somebody for the first time because you don't know who to trust, these traders are people I have personally used for over a year and I have never had an issue with buying or selling to either of them. That said, I would strongly recommend avoiding any middleman store. These people are given listings by players who want to sell off ships, accounts, whatever, and they mark them up and list these items to make some extra cash off of somebody else's items. Once they're sold, they have to track down the owner of those items and get them to gift it to you. So you better fucking hope that that person still has it or even responds to the middleman in a decent time frame. The one time I used a middleman service, I waited over a week for an item and I eventually just canceled it and had to buy it from somebody else. So be very careful using middleman services. Now, for legal reasons and to head off any speculation, I have zero affiliation with any of these sellers on the gray market. 
I have no affiliation with anybody on the gray market. I do not receive discounts, kickbacks, or any other kind of perk for recommending these sellers. You can absolutely pick any established seller on this site. These are just, however, a few that I have used over the years and that I know to be trustworthy, reliable, and pretty fast on their transaction completion times. Alrighty then. So we've got our account verified with the subreddit. We found a merchant that we think we can trust. Let's go shopping, right? So let's say we're still interested in that Banu Merchantman and a Saber Comet because we want to be extra fucking special. These seller pages will have a lot of listings and it can be a bit intimidating. Things to pay attention to are the insurance, melt value, and price. The insurance is what kind of insurance an item will come with when it's purchased from these people. Most sellers offer LTI, but always double check just to make sure. The melt price is how much you will get back in RSI credit if you were to purchase and then melt this item on the RSI site. The price is what the seller is asking for. That's pretty self-explanatory. Now, as I said before, these listings can have a lot to sort through, but you can quickly search the page for what you're looking for by hitting Control F and then typing in the word of the item you're looking for. This will allow you to quickly see if a listing page has what you're actually after. It's always a good idea to look at multiple sellers and compare prices to make sure you're getting the best possible deal. The entire point of using the gray market is to get the ships you want when you want them at the best value to you. Otherwise, you might as well be on the RSI store paying a made up price increase. So let's say that we settled on buying from this seller. He does have both of the items that we want and they're available. So let's click his place order button. Most sellers have something like this, but if not, just click their name and send them a PM. I filled out a general example of how I normally contact these sellers. The key takeaway is to be as precise as possible. What exactly you are looking for, the price, and remember, not every citizen is a native English speaker. I've dealt with Germans and Russians on the gray market, and while they always have a much better grasp on English than I would their native language, it only helps to ensure a smooth transaction by keeping your order short, sweet, and accurate. In this mock-up, you'll also notice that I give the seller my PayPal email and an RSI email. The PayPal email is so that they can send an invoice for the items to my PayPal account, and once paid, they will send the purchase items as a gift to my RSI email. While some sellers kind of prefer that you have the same email for both, uh, this isn't mandatory by any means, so don't feel like you have to do that. Once I've paid for the items, the seller will gift the purchased cross-chassis upgrades or standalone ships through the RSI website to the email that I provided him. You'll get an email that should look something like this. At the bottom of this email will be a link which, upon clicking, will send you to the RSI webpage, and if you're logged in, it will automatically claim the gifted item to your account. I stress this part because if you are logged in to an account when you click the link, the gift is going to that account. So for those of you wankers who have more than one account, make sure you're logged into the account you actually want the items to go to. The last part of the transaction comes after you've received and claimed your items. Once they are in your hangar, you should go back to Reddit where you will almost certainly have a message from the seller asking you to go to the confirmed trades post to verify the sale. This helps the seller build a reputation by confirming that they completed the trade, and it also helps you build a reputation as a user of the trade sub, so definitely try to do this. The gray market is an incredible tool, and the stuff I've covered in this video is really kind of just the surface of the possibilities with the gray market. There's also another tool you can use that's part of the gray market called Mr. Fats, which you can then use to quickly search for a specific item and it will compare its price against all listings on the subreddit. Whether you are looking for a CCU specific listing, a standalone ship, or you're okay with either. One of the other very useful tools on this site is that it tracks the listing trends of both the gray market and CIG's prices for ships. By using the history tracker, you can ensure that you're never going to pay more than what it would cost you to get something directly from CIG. But keep in mind, the listings from CIG do not include lifetime insurance unless it's an initial concept sale, in which case there's not going to be a pricing history. So that about covers failure's guide to not screwing yourself over while trying to buy specific spaceships. If you have questions on any of this, or if there's something you feel I didn't cover, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it as quickly as possible. If you're really set on spending money on Star Citizen, I strongly feel that the marketing practices employed by CIG make using the gray market the best option. 
While I would love to see CIG stop screwing over backers by offering LTI on any item until the game is no longer hiding behind the alpha label, offering any ship at any time, or no longer raising the prices on ships just because, I don't think we'll ever see those things happen. So I feel like it's my duty to spread awareness on how to upgrade your fleet without getting bent over by Chris at the same time. With that said, I am Failure Report. Stay safe out there, citizen, and I will see you next time.